Dumelang, 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 and welcome back to It's My House! Oh. Oh. My name is Nale Ilizalo, and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, resident, my resident. And if you are new here, welcome back to your new home. And all you're gonna do is be part of this home. Just one thing just to hit that subscribe button, like, comment down in the comment section and share this video as you guys can see from the title of this sub video so today i've got a very hey i've been having very important members of the community today i've got Uta Hotela, a whole entire doctor and we're going to be talking all things medicine all things uh, studying to become a doctor and also being a content creator because it's also that a multi-talent do you understand? Not wasting any more time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Today I have the pleasure and the honor of having a whole entire doctor who's going who's gonna be on call later on tonight. That's how busy he is. We have Dr. Solidus Mario. Welcome, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Today, um, this doctor that we have on this channel. We'll be doing my makeup. We're doing a um, challenge where he said he doesn't he hasn't done makeup. He doesn't know anything about makeup. Please mm -hmm. confirm. I've, I've never done makeup before. And you didn't check on how to do it and stuff, right? I don't think I have to. Yeah. I, oh, okay. Everything that you touch is just Gold. magic. Oh, Scrubs. Okay. Firstly, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for accepting mm -hmm this invite to be on the channel. We're gonna start off with, I'm gonna ask you five, six, maybe seven questions. It's called rapid fire, right? Don't think about it. If you can't think about it, you just need to answer on the spot. Okay, are you ready? And how long are these answers? No, like just quick. You'll, it's just a quick thing. Yeah, yeah, because you're not getting into the main questions yet. Okay, sure. Okay, so we're gonna start the rapid fire in three, two, Wow. Are you a corner or a tech star? Neither. Yeah? Neither. How? I'm just, I prefer like in person. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's your dream car? Uh, Audi R8. Have you been abroad? Uh, closest thing, no. From my own Are you a logical or creative thinker? I'd say both. Okay. What is your love language? <laughs> um, it's my, it's my daughter's name. Okay, that's fine. Uh, physical touch, active service, and... Yeah, that's it actually. Okay, are you a salt or sweet person? Taste by that. Salt. So, okay, and then what's your favorite beer? How long have you been drinking? Okay, perfect. And that wraps up rapid fire. So that was rapid fire, and I think we we got a bit, we got some 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 bits and pieces about ooh, Dr. Mumalo. But now we're gonna get into the main content and the main questions of the day. And while we do that, he'll be doing my makeup. And I will be, I promise them I will be guiding him through the process because I need to go somewhere after this. I'm gonna start off with priming the face because mm -hmm. before you do anything, you need to prepare the foundation. Yeah, primer, foundation. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. These are my, my things. Oh, oh, okay, all right, okay. And then while you do that, right, the first question that I have for you today. Let's start off with your Instagram handle. Dr. Solidus, the mama's boy. What is what does that mean? I think I just love my mom. Yeah, I saw <laughs> even I saw even in like one of your YouTube videos that you're like, Solidus, Mama's boy, I love you, mom. It is me, Solidus the Mama's boy. I love you, mama. So what's the relationship with your mom? Besides motherhood. Yeah, besides motherhood. Um, I think my mom. My mom and I did my first very long time. I went to boarding. I mean, when I was in mid school, like mid school gets super hard. Like, mm. My dad is like that strict, you know, like that was really bad. So mm. we never talk about a lot of things. Yeah. But my mom always kind of gave me like a safe space. You know? yeah. And even when I kind of felt like too tired or felt like I couldn't do something, my mom would always be the only person who's consistently be there. Because yeah. my dad is just like, ah, oh, just do it more than you Which I'm saying. My mom's always been my biggest fan for that reason. I'm the biggest fan. Why are you slapping my face though? I actually told him to slap you on the makeup. 
You know, I've got Miss Lalo's not there, right? No, you ask her. Okay, I'll she, ask her. She is... Girl, I'm gonna ask you. I just need to confirm something. You guys look at how she does makeup, man. It's all right. It's all me, man. She literally went there. Make as well. Yes, please. Because the neck is also very important because we're gonna spread the foundation down to the neck. Take off my earrings as a fan. It's not annoying. I must find some of these. Okay, thank you. Then you better shake it first. Shake it, shake it. No, shake it, shake it before. Shake it and then test it. No, you can't just do it. Spray it again, shake it again, shake it again, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it like. I am shaking. Shake it like in commas. Shake, shake. Yeah, now spray it, spray it, spray it. Yeah. yeah. Really yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 this feels so nice. Hey? It feels so nice to get your face done, eh? Okay. I believe in you. I believe in you. So my face is all primed. Are you satisfied and happy with the foundation? We're gonna now move into um we're gonna do foundation. I don't know if you wanna do foundation first and then my eyebrows or if you wanna do the eyebrows first and then foundation. I normally go eyebrows first then foundation. We're gonna start off with the eyebrows, ne? This is what you'll be using. I've got the eyebrow pencil sharpened for you. I've shaped my, my brows, you know, to make it a little bit easier, even though I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. It's you, I didn't need to do that. You're gonna make it work anyway. Here we go. This is what you use for the brows, and then this is what you're gonna use to just brush up my brow hairs and then draw the line. So when you draw the brows, it's preferable to just do a line at the bottom and then just do strokes in the middle just to fill the gaps. Also, yeah, yeah. Okay. And while we do this, you spoke about the relationship that you have with your mother and that your dad, you know, is like the strict typical Zulu man, I'm guessing. Okay. Um, let's go into your childhood, right? Where where do you come from and how was your childhood growing up? Okay. Well I start Yeah. Okay. So um growing up I grew up in Kizzy in mm -hmm. a very, very small town. Okay. Called uh Josie. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 yeah, no. <laughs> so It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Um, yeah, I spent quite a bit of time there mm -hmm. and then what happened is this is terrible. I used to get into a lot of fights in school, so then eventually the only school I can go to was way too far. Mm -hmm. So then I had to, <laughs> I had to be transferred to boarding school. Yeah. Then after that I went to uh, Sarasavia, which is a boarding school. Uh, <laughs> boarding school in Diego, which is near Bandi or Newcastle. Okay. Yeah. And then after that, um, yeah, I moved to Sandwich. Okay. And, then, yeah. and Stellan Bosch was you studying medicine? Yeah, so I studied medicine. Okay. Are you going My signature is like use the brush. Yeah, that, the brush it allows you to just you know put everything back to order and mm -hmm. then we use the concealer to <laughs> shape it. <laughs> don't make them dark, are they dark? They're not dark. They're not dark. Okay. So are you happy with are you happy with these brows? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna move to the next um, stage of this makeup process. And you're gonna shape the brows, right? So you're gonna use concealer just to neaten up where you made mistakes in areas, you know, you're gonna clean it up. And then when you do the foundation, you'll clean up the top. Okay, so this is what you're gonna use. You're gonna use this, this brush and then this concealer. Okay, just gonna pump it up. Okay, there you go. And then just take enough, not a lot, just, a, just enough. Enough to do it. I'm just gonna take a little bit and then just shape in the bottom just to bring back the shape of the brows. Okay? Cool. And then while you do that, so you went to Stellenbosch and that is where you started your journey of medicine, studying medicine. Now let's just take it back to when did you decide and why did you decide to become a doctor? I think I was around Ten or so, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. I had a little sister, mm -hmm. right? so my parents had to go on this trip. It's quite important. So my mom actually had to leave. Mm -hmm. My mom left um, for like a week, but my sister was like, um, she was sick. Mm -hmm. you know? 
and younger I, sister. Yes, I had a younger sister. She was yeah. probably like three months or something like that. Oh. And she was like super super sick, and I was just with her the entire time. My parents couldn't come back, and I just remember feeling so powerless, mm. not knowing what to do, you know. Mm -hmm. And I guess as a child, the decision was that I don't want to lose any more family members. And True. I figured if I could become a doctor, I could save more people that I care about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I just never want to feel like powerless again. And that's, that's why I ended up studying nursing. And how old were you at that time? She was about Jeez. 10. Jeez. Yeah. And growing up, you never had a change of like, I want to do this. It's always been, I want to I wanna become a doctor. Yeah. Okay. It was one of those things, but also the marks always kind of allowed. Yeah, yeah. So then I never had to reevaluate and say, hey, maybe I need to do computer science mm. or something else. Okay, and then speaking of the marks and stuff, what what was the, the application process for you? Because I do know that it's quite a hectic um, application process when you want to become a doctor, like mark-wise and all of that. My well, thing is, I never really had to worry about like APA scores. Because okay. I always got like straight A's, mm. so I never even really picked up or even noticed it. My mom did the application. Okay. And stuff and stuff, okay. Know? So it was pretty smooth. And then in 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 high school and primary school, you were always involved in like sports and stuff, ne? Yeah. Extra yeah. activities. Mm. Yeah. And then now moving into your Stellenbosch journey, how was the journey for you studying in Stellenbosch? Oh, studying was interesting. Mm. Um, I'd say that it was quite a mix, you mm -hmm. know, not just in terms of race, it's also socioeconomic class. Mm -hmm. For me, studies kind of highlighted just um, how low or medium my, my upbringing actually was. Sure. Mm -hmm. So the thing I'm like, I kind of got one of it, I'm not going to lie. Like, some of the kids would drive driving cars, my parents can't even afford. Yeah. And I just remember, I never looked at those people with like uh, jealousy. You know, I looked at them and I thought to myself, wow, I want mm -hmm. that for my kids too. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I said it was pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. I think for any person of color, they would probably say the same thing. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just glad you made it. If, if I'm not mistaken, the your studies are seven years all in all, right? Six years. Six years. Yeah. Okay. And then what was the most difficult part of your studies, like in terms of being in that space or like the work? I'd say it wasn't so much any of the modules, but the constant battle to maintain one's mental health. Okay. I'd say that was probably the hardest thing. Mm. Other than that, uh, work is work. You know? Okay. Speaking of mental health, how did you make sure that you maintain that? I mean, was, that was it a priority for you? I think being Zulu, you don't really know that mental health exists mm. until like you get rock bottom and you don't really know what you to do and it's like midnight and you're calling your mom and you're just confused mm. by like why there's maybe been going the way that you want, mm. you know? Yeah, but other than that, I used to just, like play sports and spend time with the gym, so I guess that kind of helped out a lot in terms of like getting out of it. And it helped that in medicine, almost everybody struggled. You know, like literally like lots of us company. Yeah. So then you kind of didn't feel crazy, because everyone else around you was crazy. Mm. Are you happy with the bus? <laughs> <laughs> Like, well, yeah, sure. well, I'm gonna look like Nisali after this. Hmm? Well, I'm gonna Nisali's not gonna have anything on me. Yo! Guys! <laughs> okay! So now we're gonna move to the eyes, right? Yeah, this and is my favorite thing. This is your favorite, oh, right? I, right. I love this makeup thing. Okay, okay. So I want I want something that's like, like not too much, but nice, right? I am wearing, and I, I always like, like doing makeup according to how a person is wearing or feeling, you know, because makeup is also a mood for me right so i want something brownish you know we can add a little bit of some glitter some gold yeah, or silver to match my 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 earrings right so do you think you can do something simple but nice no there's nothing i can't do that's good all right okay sure when you were in varsity were you involved in any other things except for your books yeah, sure. When I was in varsity, um, mm -hmm. sorry, I'm going to first in the mini mind anymore. Hi, you're not in the mini mind anymore. This is how I choose the colors. Oh, hi, bro. It's good. This is the end. Okay, all right. I mean, so, yeah, I did a lot. For the first part, I did quite a bit. Like, uh, first, first year, I used to play like uh, varsity as well. Oh. Uh, for, for rugby. Rugby, okay. Uh, as well as soccer. I uh, played a bit of tennis. But oh. after a while, sheesh, this is, this is really bad. I'm going to see. After a while, I kind of 
decided to kind of shift more into doing business for the southern campus instead of actual sports uh -huh. just to keep busy and stuff and what were what were those um geez, quite a lot initially mm -hmm. um i remember this kid time you started like a water shortage mm -hmm. so why do you see like sell uh, the bottle of water and stuff okay obviously i drink that water i'm used to that mm. um, but it helped that a lot of people around didn't actually drink that water at all mm. um amongst that I also like ran like a small taxi uh, business. Perfect. Taking students to like the, the airport. Okay. And that type of stuff. So yeah, selling textbooks, selling fridges. Um, yeah, basically just buy stuff from people who are moving out like the following year. Mm. And then I just sell it through with the, the first year of the next year. But okay. it was mostly like business related stuff as well. I was reading a lot that kept me busy. And mm. eventually, all I was playing was just soccer. Okay. And then did you find that that also helped with your mental health? I guess making the money. Yeah. You know, it's a great answer for you. Mm. So making the money helped out a lot. I'm not supposed to clean this thing every time. You can use other brushes. So Is it? Okay. Yeah. And then in terms of keeping a balance, how did you do that? Like, because I'm guessing you finished off with like really good marks when you were done with your medicine studies. Mm. Yeah. So how did you keep a balance? I think. I'd be lying if I said there was a balance. Mm -hmm. I think the one thing I learned about medicine itself or varsity is that it's almost impossible to, like the, the notion of having a, a balance is actually almost impossible. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was a thing of like accepting that, okay, cool, I'm gonna have to make certain sacrifices in order to get certain things, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. There's like the saying that you have to choose what you want and just get through it. So for me, it was that. I was very unstable and it, just, it was just a thing of, I was just hoping that I make it to the end mm. and still be there. But I, I did know that it's what I wanted more than anything. Yeah. You know, and I was willing to sacrifice a little bit. And then like, did you have a good support system like throughout the journey? Not really. It was, uh, besides my mom calling me now and then, she, I'd explain to her, but she wouldn't really understand what was mm. happening. You know what I mean? Because mm. she never went to Vossi. My dad also never went to Vossi. Mm. So essentially, they don't understand it. And I guess I wasn't angry at them, I understood it. Okay, cool. They worked hard. Yeah. Just so I can have these opportunities. Mm. So I understand why they don't really understand what I'm going through. Let's let's liven up the mood Nyana because we are getting very deep there. Let's get uh, what, 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 are you, what are you what are you saying? What are you what, did he just put black on my cheeks? Did he just put black on my cheeks? Okay. I'm trusting you. I am trusting you. Okay. Let's trust him, though. Take notes from Nandita. Hey, 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 please. I'm done with the eyeshadow. Are you yeah. happy with what you yes. have done? Looks like the flag of France. Yes. I look like the flag of France. No, no, it's looking. That's what I was going for. I was going for, for French. Okay. Okay, cool. So now we're going to get into the, the base of the face, right? We did the foundation. Now we're doing the first layer, right? It's the, the foundation. We're going to put the foundation. So before we get into the foundation, I'm going to need you to just prime my face. We're going to be using this part. So because we've already done like the the micellar water and spray, we're just going to prime like my T-zone area. So this is the part where it gets oily. And because you're applying these products, you don't want it to not look nice. Yeah, the T-zone. The T-zone, yeah. yeah. So this is what you're going to use. You're going to use this um primer mm. steady steady primers there we go and then you're just gonna apply it in this area and then under my eyes and yeah you can use your finger you can use this whatever yes. works best for you so yeah okay and then you prefer using the brush okay perfect and, and what is the purpose of, of this so it's to minimize the oil so you'll see like it has a mattifying effect so that's why you put it on the areas where your client would usually get oily, which is usually like your forehead and then the underneath your eyes. So that mm -hmm. when the makeup goes on and the concealer, it doesn't crease and all of that. So that's the purpose of it. Okay. Come on, Sadi. Put it down. Come on, can go wild, but not too wild. You've got a hand, hey? <laughs> <laughs> you. Here's the foundation. And then you're gonna use this part to apply the foundation all over my face as well as the pointy part or the no this part this flat part. Oh, so I'm spreading it over your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna get into the content creation, right? Because you're also a content creator. What what is your 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 your, your content fo focused on? Because you're a doctor, but I saw that you don't necessarily do like content about like the journey of a doctor and all of that. Yeah. So, what is the motivation um, behind your, your content? 
So one of the reasons why I haven't really made my, my, my Instagram um, medical mm -hmm. is that as someone who's not a specialist, you technically only make it like a, a general practice type of page and I don't really have conditions to become a general practice okay. practitioner. Mm -hmm. For that reason, I just never started, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think once I go into surgery or I specialize in something, mm -hmm. then I'll like actually make it purely surgical mm -hmm. you know, and more of like brand management and trying to get clients, that, that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So for now, it's just me having fun. Yeah. And talking about stuff, whatever comes up. Yeah. And I hear that, talk about it. I saw that, like, you, you do, like, things that are, like, relevant at the time. Like, I saw a video of, um, what's his name? Dr. Musa. And how he, every time <laughs> when his lady posts, he's deep within the comment section. Like, your, your stuff is very fun and very <laughs> enjoyable. And you speak when you're on the when you when you're doing your videos, you are up there. Man, I hear I see you shining. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this is your show. Let's keep this fun. Yeah. Okay, well, but this is about you. You're the, the man of the moment. Alright, okay, I didn't know that. Ah, I don't know. That. What do you mean? Show, show, what do you mean? The other thing, pig daddy. Hmm? What's what's that all about? It's like the term peak. Yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. kind of like how I believe that everything that I do, I should somehow be. The base that sure. you know, kind of like yeah. just being peak, like yeah. how I am playing that. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, for me, the word peak itself is just that, like trying to be the base of everything. Yeah. And then mommy and daddy is my, I mean, he doesn't like to be called that. Oh, daddy. <laughs> I also see like your. Why, why are you laughing? Are you laughing at what you're doing? Oh, daddy. I'm a color It actually looks like color This is hilarious. That's fine, let's go. I also saw that. Part of your, your content and stuff is your muscles. Hmm? What, what muscles? Like your, your body. Yeah, oh. Hey! <laughs> I actually thought like Peak Daddy was about that. Like maybe because you've got it like an ab by the Peak Daddy thing. What for you in terms of keeping in shape? Is it just like a you gotta look good or does it is it also play does it play a big role in your mental health? Like no. I think it does, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, in Zulu, like Zulu people, when you start gymming, they're always like, ah, let's fight, let's fight, or you want to, you want to fight us now, you know? Yeah. I always say these muscles are not for fighting, it's mm -hmm. just to be, it's just to be mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I just want to be safe. Yeah. yeah. And do you eat healthy? I do. Yeah. I do eat quite healthy. Mm -hmm. Diets and stuff, like, mainly high protein stuff, mm -hmm. stay away from fats and stuff when I can. Okay. Do you drink a lot of water? Not as much as I should. Jeez, that means you bless because your skin looks like you drink a lot of water. I got this from my mom. Aye! <laughs> and that's on Dr. Solid, that's the mama's boy. That's on my mama. Hey, that's on your mama. <laughs> so now we're gonna um, highlight the face because now I get all the dimensions in my face are all gone because of the foundation. So I'm bringing back the, the, the dimensions in my face. And to do that, we're gonna start off with highlighting. Right. So highlight the concealer you're gonna apply it like under my eyes and then here to like minimize my big forehead, you know, and then you're gonna do like down the rows because you're gonna do a nice sculpture nose and then you can do a little bit here and then also just apply a little bit here for my smile lines so that when I smile it doesn't crease the the, the foundation doesn't crease up. Yeah. Yeah. You are a doctor right now, ma'am. And you becoming a doctor, you already knew at the age of 10 years that you were going to become a doctor, yeah. right? Um, what would you say to the 16-year-old you? Like, looking back, yeah. what would you say to the 16-year-old you as the 20-something-year-old that you are right now? What I'd say to him, I told him more about it, you know? Mm. I'd go on the right track. Nothing wrong. Don't give me the eye, because the eye gave you that you must have just here. Yeah, but I think yeah, but I'd say to you, to someone you look, don't take everything that people say to personal too seriously. Mm -hmm. And I have to understand that but every time somebody tells you that you can't do something or you won't make it, mm -hmm. they're speaking out of their own context. So projecting. They, always, yeah, they look at you and they see some similarities in yourself that they might see in you. Mm -hmm. Or you might come from the same place and then for that reason they're like um, just because I couldn't make it, you can't make it too. Mm. And not to be too hard on people. I understand that just because people don't believe you, believe in you, it's because they, they don't see your vision yet. Sure. And trust me, one day they will. Mm. You know, so just keep on going, and it's gonna work out. Yeah, yeah. You know? I'm learning new techniques here. I didn't know we go back up after we've done the eyeshadow. No, you always have to go back. Up. Oh, okay. I don't. I really didn't know. Hey, I, I really didn't know that I had to. Because we started from the bottom. Oh, okay, <laughs> alright, alright, I see what we do. 
Your vision is good. Wow. <laughs> Where is it? Okay. Don't forget the nose. <laughs> Like a nice sort of bag in the middle. Oh, that's what we're doing. Yes, oh. but I guess we're gonna we're gonna use a darker concealer to yes, like to the yes, sides. Course, yeah, course, yeah. So now you're just doing a nice solid like thing it. in the middle. Yeah, I just like, like that. Yeah, just like that. Like yeah, it. yeah. There we go. And then we're gonna do like we'll just put a little bit here and a little bit here for my smile line. Mm -hmm. Cause I smile a lot, so you know I don't want the makeup to to crease and stuff. So now this is smiling and laughing. Now we're just going to, I like when the concealer really sets into the face, we're going to just spray a little bit of the setting spray. So just, oh, okay. Are we done? No, we're not done. Okay. We're not done. <laughs> Why did you get so nervous about us being done? That's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. So now we're going to contour the face, right? It's also still part of the bringing back the dimensions of the yes. face. So when you contour, you're going to do like um, cheekbone and then here, right? This area. Then we're just going to add a little bit here. Okay. And then after that, we're going to do a little bit on the nose. And then you're going to brush, like blend it all okay. with, with, a, with a, um, a brush. So mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll do this. On the sides, or yeah, on the side. So, here yeah, I can we want my nose to look like snatched. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I want my nose to look like this. Look like this. Yes, snatched. Okay, we were looking back now. We're looking into the future. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? We'll do five years and then ten. Sure. Mm -hmm. Five years, I'll probably finish my postgraduate in business admin. Mm -hmm. I also have a master's in, in business mm -hmm. admin as well. Okay. Probably also special, specializing in general social, plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll probably still be in the process of specializing for that. Mm -hmm. We'll probably finish at 32. So. 32, so now 32. 25. Oh, okay. Right. Um, and then the next 10 years, where do you see yourself? Sheesh, okay. So the next thing is probably like a, already at super specialist level. Mm. Yeah, with a lot of money. Mm. <laughs> I think I'd say that's probably gonna be some fun stuff. Then the like children and marriage comes about, sure. You know, I'm open I'm open to it. I wouldn't say it's absolutely important, but if it does happen, yeah. You you're, you're allowing it. No, no. You would be allowing of it to happen. Yeah, and probably I mean me and my family are Family yeah, yeah. And my mom doesn't have to worry about anything ever again. Oh, yeah, pray for your mom. Okay, so while you. Hey! Hey! <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> That's not proving, bro. Hey, this is it. This is my So while he finishes up my face, mm. we're gonna do like a bit of a time lapse and then we'll come back when you are done with this masterpiece. I'm done? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. before we um, wrap up the face uh, because it's questions that I think people that aren't doctors and that see you guys talking about pores and all of that be like what does that entail right so the first thing that I want to ask is in terms of like currently your practicals what do you do on a like every day or do you do every single thing do you cover um, children surgery or the theater and all of that essentially you do everything you know, it's pediatric everything, kids, arts and dying, which is like women out and so on. Mm -hmm. And you literally rotate through everything except plastics. And then at the end, technically if you've rotated, you can decide what specialty you want to go into. Okay. So yeah, we get exposed to everything. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is setting my eyes, right? Okay. So you're just gonna dab that. Yeah. And you're just gonna dab it into like underneath my eyes. 
fine because when you go in you'll see it's, it's literally gonna like melt into my face as you guys look in and while you do that you guys as doctors man you always talk about calls like even tonight you're going on on call what is what is that all about so it calls a different uh, the rotation and so on. Mm -hmm. But essentially the call I'm doing tonight is a top out call. So that means like I go in now at eight mm -hmm. and I come in tomorrow morning at eight. And so you, you come you come you as in you leave the hospital? Yes, tomorrow morning at eight. But these are like the lighter calls. Like so usually in the other rotations, mm -hmm. you do like a twenty four hour call. A twenty four hour call is a, a call basically when you arrive now, right at eight. Say you arrive at eight in the morning and then you leave tomorrow morning at eight. It's like the same time. And then a 36 hour call would be one where you're coming in at 8 in the morning, then you're still working. How much? A 36 hour. So it's 8 in the morning, then you work 8 at night, mm -hmm. and then you're still working. Yeah. So it's 36 hours. So it's 8 in the morning, then you work 8 at night, mm -hmm. right? So you're still working 8 in the morning, you're still working 8 at night the next day you get to go. So you guys work for 24 hours and 36 hours? Yeah. If, do you guys get to like take naps or something? It depends on uh, how busy the day is. Okay. So if it's a normal Monday or if a team, Especially oh, in Lisa, yeah. Yeah, because like people are doing their best life. And do normal things, so you don't actually get to sleep. If you're lucky, you get 30 minutes. Jeez. Now, when, like in a weekend where after you've been on calls, like maybe two weekends in a row, and you have a weekend free, what does that look like for you, Solitas? So the rules are you're entitled to one weekend more. Mm -hmm. So that means every month. On call for three weekends, right? So huh? you only have one weekend. <laughs> so essentially, <laughs> and I'm adding this so it makes sense. Yeah. That weekend off, I'm sleeping. I mean, rightfully so. Yeah. In terms of like friends and stuff, like, do, is your is your friendship circle mainly doctors yes. who understand? Okay. So we understand each other. Okay. No one ever feels neglected in any way. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. No, I was just really curious and I think a lot of people that are watching this will probably it's something that they were hoping that we we cover. Um, I was thinking about that before you date a doctor. Yeah. No that, guys, did you hear that? Please think about it when you date a doctor. Well I get it the money when the money comes. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up and yeah, we're gonna go back into the time lapse. Okay. Ooh. Reigniting that love that you had for, you know, this, yeah, yeah. And so when you get your first paycheck, come on, you guys. Okay, we're gonna do the reveal now. <laughs> yeah, so. Are you ready? Um, I'm ready. Okay, One, I'm ready. Two, three. Okay! Okay! It's a tie so short. Okay! Okay, the base! The way the brows are so the bra eh, you're going in with the brows in the beginning, eh? Mm. I was stressed. But it's nice! I don't know what Is there anything I can't do? I don't know. But the eyeshadow. <laughs> I look like I need to go to Daisy. <laughs> but it looks good. It looks good. It looks good. It looks nice, man. Oh the base. The base is giving. Like the foundation, the face. The face looks mm. very Looks good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is nice, man. This is not. Nice. And that is a wrap, guys. I think we can all concur that we can definitely add. Oh, Dr. Solidus can add doctor, content creator, and MUA. So thank you so much again for allowing me to 
be in your space and for you to actually be on our space today and i hope you enjoyed you know the vibing the love mm. for you know yeah. Like, yeah so i'm expecting to see really big things when it comes to makeup or you know and the space mm, mm. the string what in this the look in there you know so if people want to uh, find you and follow you where can they find you on instagram your IG and um, TikTok. TikTok and it's on all platforms Dr. Yeah, all platforms and, and all streaming platforms oh, okay <laughs> so I'll also leave his details in the description box below yeah. and yeah guys um, email for bookings emails for bookings please okay. They're very very important you know and um, I think I'm going to assign myself as the manager because I know that you guys are going to want to take take chances ne? do you allow me to so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed it, share this video, subscribe if you haven't, and comment what you think about Dr. Transitioning into makeup artist part time. You know, I don't know when he's gonna get the time with all those calls that he has to do, but this was our third episode of Becoming, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!